can God do a miracle in a family like this? I don't know if you've ever been in really dangerous situations, but sometimes when you're in really dangerous situations, you can feel that things are not right. And that's the way it was between Deb and I uh, towards the, as our divorce was drawing closer and closer. Debbie, yeah, you see the tears in your eyes right now. You remember that moment, don't you? I remember you? very well. Tell us what Dennis happened. was our last hope. He reached out to, to get us to the marriage conference, and so we went, and it was a last-ditch effort. Neither Jim nor I were really crazy about going. When I heard Dennis, his message of hope, um, the way that he presented the gospel on Saturday uh, of the marriage conference, the middle day of the conference, just it, it just impacted me to know that that there was a God. Yeah, and and the first thing that actually happened is so typical of us, is that is that she came in the room and she said, Jim, I need to ask you something. And I said, no, Deb, I need to ask you something. I blurted it out first and I just said, I need to ask you to forgive me. And Jim just took me by the shoulders and he looked at me and he said, no, I have to ask you to forgive me. I'm thinking, I never thought I would hear these words out of this man's mouth. Nobody's ever asked me to forgive him before. Well, again, we go back to that theme. Can God mm -hmm. rescue a family in this kind of difficulty? Over the last seven years, um, we've gone to the marriage seminar every six months, so we've actually gone a total of 11 times at this point. And I have literally watched my husband become just an oak of righteousness, a man of integrity, <laughs> a promise keeper. Oh, my. Uh, 